Hi traders, Sam here. Thanks for visiting my site for Signature GAN, Fibonacci and Trendline tools. Today, talking trend lines, probably one of the most universal forms of chart analysis and under the spotlight is a tool in my series dedicated to that very mission. Its name, the Trendline and Gradient Template Tool. What's it for? Well, it's for any trader who draws lines on their intraday charts. Trend lines, break lines, channel lines, GAN lines. And it's for any trader who likes to view that line and line break information across one or more time frames. Now I don't know about you, but I'm a pure price trader. I don't put indicators or moving averages of any kind on my chart. The one thing I do put on my charts though are lines, channel and GAN lines, my version of trend lines. And so to that end, I'm very particular about the precision and the accuracy of those lines I do put on my charts, how they're drawn, how they're replicated, hence why this tool came about to address a bunch of things that can routinely go amiss when you're drawing lines on your chart, line skew, line MIA, compression, amplified error up the longer a trend line runs. Perhaps you've experienced some or all of these phenomena. So let's start here. If anyone needs convincing about the merits of using a multi time frame approach when it comes to using trend lines, here's a nice reminder. We have a day chart. I have a Fibonacci angle fan cast from this turn in the market, which in turn caught this turn in the market over here and a pretty substantial downtrend followed. We might want to put a trend line across this particular downtrend here as a basic navigation and to keep tabs on the health of that trend. As an intraday trader, I'm going to want to head over to a faster time frame now to take a closer look at this. Let's say pick the 15 minute chart and immediately this faster time frame begins to tell us things that the more summarized time frame does not tell us. And in particular, what I'm seeing is that the turning point started out at one particular gradient, at one particular gear change and literally sped up. Now the way I run my analysis is typically I'd be back up on to a, um, a longer time frame looking at whether or not there are any key supports and resistances that were going to catch that downtrend. So I'd be looking perhaps up there on a four hour chart or even back to the day chart and as we do we fiddle with our lines and I'd be doing that. I'd be going oh okay I'm just going to lay that back on top of those lines. And you can see what happens when we then move back to that intraday time frame. These lines, yes, they've, they've shifted, but they've skewed at the same time. You'll remember we had good hits before and now we've skewed off and we don't have this hit down here. Voila, line skew. So here's another line draw scenario I'm sure you will have experienced. For continuity's sake, I'll stay with the same example and we'll reconstruct the primary trend line that started this downward trend. We'll project that forward and the reason we want to be projecting that well forward in time is that we'll be very interested to see how price reacts if and when it gets back up to that uh, region. The next thing I would do as a matter of protocol is go and check the accuracy of my freehand draw there to make sure that the connectivity points of that trend line are, um, are well constructed. Now to do that in this zoom down state it does look like I've, I've actually constructed that really well but I'm going to take a closer look here by zooming up. Ah, now what to my eye looked like a nice crisp hit was in fact an inaccurate draw. Some traders might want to live with that. There we go that's now nicely brought up. So you can see in this region here we actually don't have that touching that line which for me that wouldn't be accurate enough. So I'm forced with doing this. Reconstructing the line but once again I've got the same issue because I'm zoomed down and now I'm playing with the line in variances of just that little bit there which doesn't seem like a lot but the longer you project that forward in time the greater the uh, skew difference about where your trend line reaction point will be. This template tool addresses this as well. 
Now what about the phenomena of line MIA? Imagine you have some long-term trend lines in place, perhaps uh, in existence for months like in this example, and you want to take a peek on a tighter time frame when price action gets close to breaking those lines. So you uh, head on down to a faster, tighter time frame and uh, you start scrolling around. Look what happens to your line. Line MIA. So now let's take a look at how to make all these line draw headaches go away. Enter the Trendline Gradient and Template tool. Imagine every trendline or breakline you draw to satisfaction on your chart. You get an immediate template of that line mirrored on any intraday time frame the tool is loaded on. The fixed templating nature of the tool gives a superior line sharing capacity time frame to time frame. Superior to what? Well, superior to the usual attach line to other time frame option available in most platforms. Here's what the tool looks like in NT8, just some small icon differences to NT7. The bottom line is really accuracy and precision. What's more, the tool makes this happen all really quickly. Here's how. Determine the gradient of your line in points per bar. Use this quick on-screen points per bar window for speed execution. Control gradient direction the same way with this on-screen panel. Your choice on one time frame then immediately mirrors on another in a universal assignment of the points per bar rating. Use a single line if it's a single trend line you're monitoring. Or use a full fan splay of lines by changing the features of the tool in the properties panel. Something which will appeal to GAN and Fibonacci operators. The rich features of this template tool offers yet one more thing a means to record your favourite or signature gradients that you might see repeat over and over on instruments that you follow. This is certainly a luxury feature for me in my trading. You can see how many signature gradients I refer to. So rather than retype those choices every time, I simply create a label for the exercise and retrieve them with one click. And you can do the same if geometric and signature gradients are part of the way you trade too. Now just a final footnote, the tool is also available under another name in my series. It's also called the Signature Ganfan Intraday Tool. And that's for good reason. Without this rebadging, guaranteed that the tool would be dismissed by trendline traders as being solely a fan tool, when it's actually so much more than that. Think about it, of all the things that technical traders do, drawing trend lines is probably the most universally significant way to draw conclusions and read the market. So I definitely wanted to make sure trendline traders would take a look at this templating device. For more information and videos on my signature series, visit the product tab on my website.